Welcome to the Daily App Show iPhone edition. We're going to take a look at iWatermark, which allows you to watermark your photos. Now, one of the problems with taking photos these days and sharing them is that people can use them and copy them and make them their own. And that's a problem. So, say for example, I have a photo that I've loaded, took on my camera, um, and it's a nice photo. Uh, you know, say a maternity photo that I took of my wife, and so it loads that photo in. Now I can go and choose iWatermark, and I can choose from all of their watermarks that they have built in. They have a lot of those, so I could just select from the list. So let's go and grab Top Secret. I can move this around and place that. I can hit save when I'm done or I can hit home to go back. So I can also create a text watermark or create a custom watermark. So let's create a text. I'm going to tap on text and I'm just going to type in my name because I did take the photo. Type in Jared Hill and then I can go and adjust the font size, opacity, color, angle, anything that I want and then of course I can move that around and then place it and when I'm done I can hit save and exit that. I can also go into watermarks here and go in and add any of these other things like a date and time and move that around also. When I'm done, I simply hit save, and it's going to go ahead and save that photo. I could still go in and adjust the text and everything here for this time. Very easy to do that. All right, so let's cancel and get out here. Creating a graphic watermark is cool because you can go in and select an image. So perhaps, uh, say I had an image that I had saved on my device. Maybe it was my logo, my company logo, which I don't have on here. But for example, let's just go and grab something. Let's grab the day, this daily app show banner. And you can see there's opacity over it on the background. So all I would have to do with that logo is choose the opacity that I want for that watermark. You can see that it's really lightly overlaying that on top of this photo, or I could turn it way up and so however I wanted that to appear and then I can hit OK. I can also set the scale of this as well so I could scale this down. Or I can hit stretch to fit. So let's scale it down and now that it's out of the way a little bit I could even turn some of the opacity back on just so that it could be seen a little better. Then of course I can move this around, put it in any corner or any section that I want and now it is an image watermark really cool feature. This is stuff you'd have to go into Photoshop to do in order to get watermarks and stuff placed on your images. So, recap. Built-in watermarks that they have, different things, dates, uh, censored, different things that are cool to use on your photos for any purpose. Then we also have the ability to create custom text watermarks and create graphic watermarks. You can select a photo from your camera roll or take a photo right from within the application. So I think you're really going to like iWatermark. Great application. Definitely a missing feature that has been much needed for the iPhone. So check it out in the App Store. We'll see you next time on the Daily App Show.